hi and welcome back to my channel so um today i'm going to start a new junk journal and i promise i'll bring you along on the journey this time because quite often i just do it and don't um record anything but um but remember when i showed you these little faces um in a previous haul um yeah some some of you thought they were a bit bit freaky but what i want to do is make a, a May Gibbs or a, um, a what are they called, a bush baby journal. Now, if you have a look, oh, on here, it's a bit small to see, but I love the wattle the babies on here. So I'm going to do a wattle baby journal. And I've got, I've cut down a book here. This was um, Australian Amazing Birds and Animals, and I'm actually using all the pages in this, from this book in this make, and I've cut it down to what size I want to make the journal. Now, when you cut a book down like this, don't throw any of these out because they could be the spine of another book for you because they're really hard, but they just quite didn't, um, weren't quite long enough. So I'm going to find another um, bit of card for that. So yeah, don't chuck them out, put them somewhere handy. <laughs> and um, I'll show you the bits and pieces that I've got for this journal so you might be able to um, get a little a look inside my brain at what I'm thinking about doing so this is the cover and then I have I've already cut down quite a few papers out of um, different books I've cut down papers out of this book the Billabong Tales which um, I'll keep that cover for. I've cut down pages out of one of these um, May Gibbs colouring books. Um, I don't think, oh yeah, I cut, I cut all the pages out of one of these books. I had two others, so I used all that up. So I've still got them and I've still got that one. And I cut the pages out of this book, Cuddle Pie. So that could make a really pretty little journal as well. So I'll keep the cover for that. And I cut all the pages out of this one. Okay, this is the um, Snuggle Pot and Cuddle Pie. Um, meets Mr. Lizard. And I didn't want the lizard on the front. Um, that's why I went for the other book. Plus that was plain. And the other book had really nice pictures on the, the start pages. I don't think, I think I only cut one I only took one page out of here, so that can do another journal. Yeah, so that's all the pages that I've used books out of. And then I've sort of roughly cut them down to the size that I want and all the plain pages as well, which were, you know, out of writing books and, um, uh, what do you call it? Doilies and graph paper and plain paper. I thought I'd put some pops of pop of yellow paper in there, just to match all the the um, yellow wattle, and then all the rest are pages from those books I've just showed you. So when I put all that together, oh, there's some pages here out of a that page was out of a um, motor vehicle log. I thought that was something different. There's some old writing paper. And then there's some start pages out of this book. So when you look at that, that's quite thick already. When I put that together like that, that's going to be that thick. But then I also want to just guesstimate too. I've got a lot of um, pictures that I've cut out. To make into a oops to make into ephemera so that you've got to take that into consideration too how thick that that will make it because it all adds up so if i sit that so i might well, I probably won't put all of that in but if i sit that in there as well and plus i've got some of these so i'll just chuck them on top that's going to come out that thick at least that thick so you've got to take that into consideration when you're um, looking at what size spine to have. See, I want three signatures in here, so it's going to have to be at least two inches. I might make it even three. I'm not sure yet. Yeah. Anyway, so that's 
that's what I've got you um, take into consideration for that. These were um, papers from Spotlight, but they're really little. I wish they'd been a little bit bigger. I've got the Waddle Babies on it. That's um, that's the pack it came out of. Gum Nut Friends by May Gibbs. Yeah, they only had the small one, so I was um. I'll we'll use them. Oh, and what I didn't take into consideration. Oh, I want to put some um, envelopes and pockets in that too. So, yeah, it's going to come out quite a bit wider. So, I don't know what this one is. That was nearly three. Yeah, that's three. Yeah, I'm going to have to make it three, I think. But anyway, that's something you're going to need to consider too when you're... um putting a junk journal together. I'll just move all that. And then I've got other bits and pieces together too. I bought some yarn because I want to, um, the Waddle Baby has a big poof of yellow all around her face. So I want to, um, maybe, um, I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I don't know whether to stick the yarn in there or make a pom-pom and sit in it. But I don't want it to sit too far off the um, actual book. So what I've done is I've drawn a line around this doll's head and I'm going to have to cut that down a little because I didn't want it sitting up, up too thick like that off the book. So I've got other bits and pieces together. I've got some really pretty lace and I might come go ahead and color bits of that in yellow to match in with the wattle I've got some pom-pom stuff here I should um grab some more of that I ended up buying this wattle branch from um, the cheap shop but it wasn't that cheap <laughs> I'm not I'm not gonna say how much it was because Dave's sitting up there I'll tell him later but um, I'm going to take that apart off that um, for the front. Okay, so that's going to um, be sprays of wattle coming out like that on the front. So that's my idea for getting this. I actually was just, oh, well, I had in hand a little bag of yellow pom-poms. I thought I'll just go to the fake flower section and find some leaves. And then I seen this and I thought, well, by the time I buy all the leaves and the pom-poms and everything, it's nearly going to cost the same. So I got that. All right, for the cover, I want to play with these things, these colored, these colors of fabric. I'm thinking of covering the, the actual um, uh, journal in this, this um, velvet, beautiful green velvet. And then she'll have the pom-pom around her face and then out from there will come sprays of of this as well. Maybe this on the spine, the hessian on the spine. Um, and then I'm not sure about this yet. I may even make some yo-yo flowers to put around here with the yellow gingham. Um, just to tie all that yellow in. Um, I do have some scraps of... Um, May Gibbs fabric from um, Tanya. I'll have to dig them out as well. I've got some um, napkins here with May Gibbs things on it and some Australian bird napkins and their leaves. Um, this one here, this pack here, I got from the cheap shop and it was a decoration which I pulled apart. I think I might have shown it in a haul video and I just talk, took all the strings off it so I can use I might use these as page tabs on the edge of the pages and um, I might even distress them a little because they're really stark white and I uh, may even I don't know yet we'll see so yeah they're gonna be some of my page tabs and just little bits of decorations so you know it was um you could get heaps in there. It was worth buying the pack. Heaps of um, pictures. This um, came off a tag. I think that came off a tag of some fabric. 
so I'll make that into a dangle or a bookmark or something yeah so I've been hoarding up all this stuff for a little while now wanting to make this journal and then when I got these doll faces the idea came to me then to um um oh that's some fabric too I might put some of that in the pages I really like that I might put some of that inside so the, yeah the idea came to me to put one of these on the outside of the journal so that's my idea for it um, I need to um, I need to scratch around now and find a, um, a spine. See, with this yarn, I'm going to, I've got a little metal um, brush. I think you can, Bunnings, you can buy a little baby metal brushes. I don't know whether it's up here or not. I had it outside with me doing something. I hope I brought it back in. I'll have to have a look for it later. And you can actually brush this um, yarn out so it goes all fuzzy. So that's what I'm planning to do with that so it doesn't stay just like regular, regular knitting yarn. All right, and, um, and then as I go along, I'll find bits and pieces like, um, oh, this beautiful, um, this beautiful, um, what do you call it? ribbon or trim I got that's in my haul video coming up I got that um oh where was it no it was at Wangaratta we took the took pickles to see his um to see his groomer and I found that it's beautiful absolutely beautiful so I'll put some of that on it I'll pick out other bits and pieces of yellow and and stuff like that out of my trims um, I got that one out of my trim. Oh, and I found these two. They were, they were the latest ones I found. Oh, no, not that. I'll put definitely put some of that on. But I found these ones. Yeah, they'll come up in the next haul video. So that's my idea for this journal. I even got some bits of, um, you know, there's little bits of stuff like that. I'll put on as page tabs and a uh, little... I think they came out of um, uh, the last bag that Tanya gave me. Yeah, I think they did. There's all those little pom-poms in there. So they'll be handy. I'll use all them on some page tabs. And um, other little bits and pieces. All right, so... That's a look at my journal coming up. Um, stay tuned because I haven't quite got this ready to put together yet. So in my next video, I'll sit here and put all the um, actual book together. And um, yeah, you can watch me make it from start to finish. And this um, eventually too will be for sale. So I um, hope you've enjoyed that quick look at that. And stay with me while I go on the journey of this... Um, this new junk journal if you're new here i would love you to subscribe uh, press the bell button to get notifications and um like and share and all that sort of thing and um i'll catch you real soon in another video bye